I'd like to use that question as an opportunity to answer a related question that I thought we'd be asked, but we weren't, which is uh, what is the alt-right uh, relationship to Zionism? Um, and this is something that's come up uh, sporadically since, you know, throughout the campaign and since Trump's election. The alt-right has this sort of trolling tactic where they pretend to like Israel and Zionism and just say, we want to be Zionists for America for white people, right? Zionism for white people is what they say. Um, now, what's really going on, and this gets taken at face value by people who don't understand the alt-right and that they purposely troll by adopting the values and the things held dearly by the people they're trying to mess with and then turning them on those people, like free speech. Right? These are, it's not actually a deeply held value of their own. They're using their values against you. Um, but it's also taken at face value by people on the far left who want to associate Zionism with the alt-right. So this is very convenient. They can say, well, look, you know, they're, they're the alt-right. This is the clock right, you know, right twice a day. They're right. Zionism is really just white nationalism. Um, it's absolute nonsense. Um, and I, I can explain it by the way of an analogy, which is something that the white nationalists and the alt-right also like to talk about is they'll point to like, falling, you know, say, graduation rates uh, for whites from college. And they'll say, well, obviously, we need affirmative action for white people. This is another thing they say. Um, they, wa they once uh, tweeted at a friend of mine who was a colleague of McKay's, Adam Sower, who's an African-American Jew. And they said, we, j we need a an NWACP, thinking like that would be an NWACP for white people. But like the CP is the colored people at the end. So an NWACP. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, why can't we have one of those national yeah. white people advancing colored people? It sounds good to me. <laughs> Um, so, but the idea there is, again, why can't we have affirmative action for white people? Now, if you ask them, this alt-right person, oh, so you're saying affirmative action, it's a good thing, and at some point in history, if not now, it was a good idea for African Americans, you just also want it for white people. And they're like, no, I hate black people, and I hate affirmative action. They're just using this concept of affirmative action to mess with people who actually believe in it by saying, well, then you should apply it to us. And the same thing is going on with Zionism, where... And what's going on? Why do we have affirmative action for African Americans? Because there's a historical legacy of oppression of a minority, and it was remedied through this particular mechanism. White people don't have that, therefore there isn't the need for affirmative action. Why is Israel there? Because there's this historical situation where Jews were oppressed and persecuted and murdered, and so we created a Jewish state right in their historic homeland as a solution to this problem. And when you take the idea out of the historical context, Right? You can then troll people and say, we just want it for a majority culture that actually doesn't need it, doesn't have that historical history of oppression, and this was never designed as a solution for them. Um, and basically appropriating the means of uh, protecting people from their oppressors for their oppressors. And that's the whole entire dynamic. It's being done with affirmative action. It's being done with Zionism. And so whether you hear it from an old right person or you hear it from someone on the far left who finds this a convenient club to hit Israel with, it's not true, and people should be aware of that.